Oh my god, Taylor Swift reveals Travis Kelsey's romantic move as he prepared a special gift for his pet cat Olivia Benson for her birthday. Olivia Benson is a Scottish fold cat owned by American singer-songwriter Taylor Swift. Born January 23, 2014, adopted June 2014, the pop superstar reportedly threw her pet cat Olivia a party to celebrate her birthday two days ago and now she's revealed to Nat FL that boyfriend Travis Kelsey had a meaningful gift for the cat Love Olivia on her birthday. The NFL star is so sweet and attentive to Swift. And her beloved cats Kelsey reportedly added special features for Taylor's beloved cats in the $6 Mansion Million in Kansas City for Olivia Benson's birthday. Previously Kelsey's mansion didn't seem ready for Taylor's beloved feline friends, Olivia Benson, Meredith Grey, and Benjamin Button, Nat FL said she couldn't confirm whether it was the entire room for cats or just accessibility features, like cat doors. Taylor loves her cats so much, Kelsey's mansion was renovated to accommodate these happy cats for Olivia Benson's birthday. Swift has never been shy about making her cats a part of her personality, and fans love her even more for it. All three cats have appeared multiple times on social media and even in some of her music videos, the Grammy winner also said that her beloved cats have had some influence on her career. Swift told Time. I have cats. I'm obsessed with them. I love my cats so much that when a role came up in a movie called Cats, I just thought, like, I have to do this. In fact, Swift even attended cat school to prepare for her role. The Midnight Singer has spoken many times over the years about why she has such a passion for cats, telling time, they're very dignified. They're independent. They're very capable of handling their own lives, your life, swift status as a self-proclaimed cat lover even does some good. Ahead of the Houston stop on her era's tour, a local animal shelter announced that it would reduce cat adoption fees as a demonstration of Swift's passion for animals, posting the program aptly named, 13 Lucky Dollars, on its website, HHS shared, Karma is a cat, purring I and my lady because he loves me. Taylor Swift's heart and style are still with her lover era, at least a little bit. For almost a year now, the cruel summer hitmaker, 34, has dedicated her closet to what is her expected forthcoming album, Reputation, Taylor's version, meaning she's almost exclusively worn edgy outfits as a way to tease fans. While she continued her all-black style streak with a gothic Aliyah dress and Marc Jacobs boots on January 23, during an NYC Girls Night Out with Brittany Mahomes and Cara Delevingne, she added a hint of pink. On her nails, the Grammy winner rocked a long glittery barbiecore pink manicure as well as pink, gold and purple rings on her right hand. The color palette of her hand accessories reminded us of the pastel aesthetic introduced to the Swiftiverse with her album Lover. Some fans wonder if the Easter egg could indicate that Swift has something planned related to the album or if the singer just may be celebrating her own love story with boyfriend Travis Kelsey. The Pink Money is yet another in a recent series of sleek nail jobs the singer has rocked, which fans have been talking about at length. She's worn tips a few times in the past couple weeks, including at the Golden Globe Awards, and as one TikTok creator pointed out, Swift rarely has her nails done. While some fans noted that this could just be because she's on break from tour and has the luxury of not needing to play her instruments, which can be tough with long nails, others insisted the manicures were a sure sign of music to come. A source recently told People that the couple remain really happy together. They're having a lot of fun, but they're still seeing where it goes, added the source of the stars, who began dating shortly after Kelsey revealed in late July on his New Heights podcast that he had tried to shoot his shot with Swift after her concert. Since September, the Midnight Singer has been cheering on Kelsey from the stands at his football games. Her most recent appearance was on Sunday when she, alongside Mahomes, Delavine, Jason Kelsey and his wife, Kylie Kelsey, cheered on the Chiefs as they routed the Buffalo Bills, leading to a victory for the Kansas City team. She arrived in Buffalo, New York, wearing a $1,800 white retro-style jacket from the Gantt X Kilo Kish Blank Canvas Project collaboration. She styled the piece with black pants. Even in the frigid weather, 
Swift has managed to pull off cool game day looks with lots of statement outerwear like the one she wore over the weekend. On January 13, she and Mahomes rocked custom puffer coats by Kristen Yushtik, the wife of San Francisco 49ers fullback Kyle Yushtik, that featured their guys' jersey numbers and last names. Kristen has been in high demand among the NFL wives and girlfriends, also including Olivia Culpo who looked to the designer for a San Francisco 49ers bustier. Travis Kelsey is opening up about what inspired him to show off one of girlfriend Taylor Swift's signature moves on the field. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end formed a heart with his hands at Sunday's game against the Buffalo Bills. After scoring a touchdown during the second quarter. And on Wednesday episode of his New Heights with Jason and Travis Kelsey podcast, he explained to his older brother Jason Kelsey that he was inspired to do the move to bring a little positivity to the sport. Yeah, man, had to spread the love baby, Travis said. Always got to spread that love, baby. Cameras caught Travis doing the move, seemingly in the direction of the suite where his girlfriend Taylor Swift was seated with members of the Kelsey's family. But Travis went on to say that the gesture was mainly for Bill's fans, who he said, understandably, greeted him with, a lot of hate, when he pulled up to Highmark Stadium in New York, the Bill's home turf. It's a football game, Travis said, after Jason reminded him that, it's supposed to be, competitive. The Bills, coming into their house, they want to make it rowdy. Did it get a little disrespectful? 1000%. 1000%. Did they get a little extra? 1. 000%. Dot. Asked what they said, Travis played coy. I'm not going to say because that's what they want, he told Jason. They want to feel. I'm not going to relay it. But some things were said about the family, some pretty inappropriate things were said about, teammate Patrick, Mahomes. It was, it was pretty whack. I get it, I get it, he continued. Coming into a hostile environment, I respect it. But I just wanted to make sure they knew it wasn't mutual. I don't hate you guys like you hate us. It's all love. It's all love baby. Jason, for his part, didn't see it that way. They don't hate us, insisted the Philadelphia Eagles center, who was seen taking shots with Bill's fans before the game. I was with them, they love you. For what it's worth, Travis had a different view of Bill's fans earlier in the podcast. I have to tip my hat to Bill's mafia, he said. It's such an awesome atmosphere playing up there. It was so much fun. They brought the energy, they got rowdy for every single play, every single third down that we had, and they made it fun. I can't thank Bill's Mafia, enough, for showing up and showing out like they did and making that environment a memorable one for everyone involved. It was electric. They may not feel that way after the game, though. The Chiefs went on to win, defeating the Bills 27-24 to advance to the AFC Championship to face off against the Ravens on January 28. Fans will have to wait until then to see if Travis repeats Swift's hard hands move there. Typically, he's known to do his signature point and arrow move after he scores, something he confessed on a previous episode of his podcast is motivated by his mindset to always dream big on and off the field. If your dreams aren't bigger than you, then there's a problem with your dreams, Travis said, quoting NFL legend and current Colorado football coach Deion Sanders and noting that it's one of his favorite quotes that reminds him to shoot for the stars. This Valentine's Day will be the first Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey spend together, so the holiday calls for a pretty special celebration.